Welcome to Walking the Earth. Today we're in Old Dulikau, a Himalayan hill town on the edge of the Kathmandu Valley in the Himalayan country of Nepal. So this, this area is well known for really big Himalayan views at sunrise, um, which sometimes includes um, Mount Everest, Sagamatha. Um, but there's very, you can sometimes see the Annapurna peaks, you can see the Langtang peaks, etc. as far as I'm aware. Um, but I haven't been able to see them since I've been here. It's been cloudy each day. Um, yesterday we had a little bit of sun for our, you know, taking a walk to um, Namo Buddha, which was quite nice. So yesterday was a nice day, but no big peaks. But it was enough to have really nice views of the lush green uh, middle hill region of the Himalayas and the terraced rice paddies. Um, walking around Dulikal, it's very nice because many of the families, they have um, gardens or small farms cut into the hillside and little roadside gardens that are very well kept. Um, this is an old Nawari town. And so it's like a lot of brick with uh, wood in the windows and doors that's, that's beautifully carved. Um, Pagodas here. We've got a couple different pagodas, and you'll, see, you'll notice a few as you walk through town, the old town. Um, in front of this shrine, in front of this pagoda, we have a, a Shiva shrine. You can see a Shiva lingam and a, and a yoni, a trident with the drum. Um, I believe that this pagoda is related to, um, to Vishnu. I'm not certain about this, but it's interesting. At the top, we've got a lot of serpents, a lot of cobras cobras coming down and a cobra sitting at the top and that's what made me initially think that might be a Shiva shrine. There's no signage that I can read. Um, it's in it's in Nepali I believe. Um, so I, I'm not certain about this place but it's you know it's 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 beautifully designed um, the wood and the brick. Um, and then over here this other the, the slightly bigger shrine I'm pretty certain this is a Vishnu shrine because there's a there's a column with Garuda um, showing respect and devotion toward the, the shrine, which I'm imagining has, has an image in it that I can't see. Um, but this, this is a three-tiered pagoda. And one of the things that I think is most interesting about it is that at the corners that are upturned, there are all these little metal birds. And that's, that's actually quite cool. Um, and different, it looks like different kinds of birds, which is interesting. And they each have bells with Bodhi leaves hanging down. Um, it looks like uh, Sanskrit uh, around the edges of the roof. Um, and I, I think that the design is quite beautiful. Um, and also at the very top of both of these temples, you have, um, it looks very, almost like, like on Buddhist temples, it looks like um, the top of a, of a stupa. You know, there's a, there's a bell at the top and then a checha, uh, you know, a, like a, a chat, um, an umbrella over that. Um, which you'll find on, on Buddhist temples quite often. So, um, and then over here we've got a small, um, a small votive stupa, a Buddhist stupa, with the eyes painted on it, Nepali style. A little bit further up, um, past some beautiful brick buildings that some of them clearly show some earthquake damage, but you'll find more, more votive stupas around here that look older. Um, so this is, this is a really, it's a nice place for travelers. It's big with, with mountain bikers and with hikers. It's part of the five day Kathmandu um, uh, Valley Cultural Trek, which includes walks. You can do a, a full circle over five days, or you can do little individual walks. You can do a day walk that includes Namo Buddha and Panoti, which is a, so Namo Buddha is associated with the Buddhist Jataka tales and with Mahayana Buddhism in particular, but uh, also connects to Theravada Buddhism because of the Jataka tales, but it's a very important pilgrimage site for Tibetan Buddhists and for Tamang uh, Buddhists. The Tamang originate up in the Tibet Plateau area and moved into Nepal quite some time ago, several hundred years ago, I believe. And they have, they are also Vajrayana Buddhists just like the Nawari Buddhists, the Nepali Buddhists. So, um, and this is an older form of, kind of a transitional form of, of Vajrayana or Tantra 
that transitioned out to transition Vajrayana Buddhism into Tibet, as far as I'm aware. But anyway, um, but you'll see uh, you'll see you know gompas that are that belong to the Tamang in the area. A, go a gompa is a monastic institution. Um, but nowadays the Tibetans are stronger up in Namo Buddha in, in numbers and there's a very big monastery up there and then Pinoti is um, is a confluence town with two branches two tributaries to the Ganges River to the Ganga that come together so it's a, it's a, a sacred bathing site it's a cremation site and it's a quite lovely place um, so I appreciated going to Pinoti I went to Namo Buddha in Pinoti yesterday and, and visited and um, so I, I would recommend that but I, I didn't do a walk beyond that but it was really beautiful to see the countryside and see how people are living and so this is a very lovely place and the people are very kind here um, so I would I would recommend you know um, coming and visiting these places so this is Old Dulico in the Kathmandu Valley um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to a close but we've got we've got these these beautiful pagodas and shrines and you can see the people like little the little girl that just walked past being held she had coal around her eyes she had a little a little uh a little tikka black tikka i believe like i'd i'd heard that the the black tikka that's put on little boys and little girls on their foreheads and sometimes on, a, on the side of their head is to ward off the evil eye so there's a belief in the evil eye in many areas of asia and that's quite interesting um and like something that i've noticed here and you know it's like it's, it's so nice to see the the elders wearing the traditional clothing and um so i'll go ahead in another video i'll discuss a couple things that i noticed here all right be happy <laughs>